saw a witch while I was sleeping come into my room and oh phoenix is rising thank you listen to everything that she said i have actually listened to this her video for the second time as many of my phoenix's rising academy know i am a survivor of witchcraft that was has never um <laughs> been talked about as something that these cluster B personalities will use or, or, you know, as part of their arsenal in how to um, oppress you and arrest you and drain you. Uh, but it makes sense. So when she was talking about, the sister was talking about, um, you know, there was a witch in, you know, in her room, in her dreams, messing with her phone. And that is one thing that has been, I had a MacBook. I updated my MacBook. This, this person who I um, spoke about for DV month with this October, uh, you guys can go and check out those two videos. There's a part one and a part two. It just says DV awareness month. Be, um, the person would energetically t sabotage my electronics, sabotage my, um, my YouTube channel. It's even sabotaging my, uh, uh, TikTok. I mean, that's kind of worn off now, but you know, cause it, I mean, it, it was absolutely horrid, but I had somebody that, uh, recently a Jezebel spirit, uh, off of this person. And I was just thinking about her and because sometimes you cannot process when you're dealing with a cluster B personality and they are so vile and they are so evil and, but it's Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde that, that came to me in meditation today, um, during prayers and stuff. And, and God was like, Dr. Jekyll, and Mr. Hyde, people don't use that enough. And that is exactly what a cluster B personality is. That is exactly what a narcissistic sociopath psychopath is, is a Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde to the world that I'm playing victim to I am this charismatic loving empathic empathetic uh individual who just wants to be the best for you but I'm at my ends and you know I'm you're 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 da -da -da -da. and but behind closed doors when nobody can see the rock that's been thrown right now I am going to take off the mask and I'm going to be my real self. And this Jezebel spirit came to me, not in a dream. She was performing a ritual on me while I was awake and she was awake. She could have been in the, in her hotel by herself. That's I met her when we had, uh, me and the fur babes had, had gotten off of the street and we were got out of the van, the U-Haul that we were sleeping in. And I mean, you guys can go and see the pictures. It's not, it's not a fantasy. It's not a lie. Um, and so we got into this hotel and the, so met this person and just in passing, mind you, you know how normally you can just say, oh, okay, hi, how are you doing? Cause you're passing by. It's a little bit uncomfortable. So you're trying to like e ease the anxiety, the social anxiety and be about your business. But no, this woman targeted me for my finances. And because she is a Jezebel, she is a gold digger. She is a sex addict. She thought that she was going to kill two birds with one stone. And regardless of what religion you're a part of, I do speak to the black, lesbian, bi, straight, you know, trans community that's between 30 and 50 years old. Those are, that is my clientele. That is my focus because a lot, we're not being able to share this, especially when it comes to other people of color. So anyway, this woman who deal with and interact with us, we are also, I think 
pe black people are starting to get the hint now that because I've known this for forever, you know, but I test people by their spirit. And it's unfortunate that if you come, if I can, I connect the dots, if your spirit is demonic and you come from this place and you do this, then and it's too many of you coming from the same place with demonic spirits, with that Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde, Leviathan, uh, Jezebel, Incubus, Succubus spirits, then, you know, there's, I'm going, you can call me whatever you want, but I am not going to, to in, in, uh, uh, make myself available for anything in, in regards to that. So, um, anyway, this woman showed up. We're both, I'm awake. I don't know if she's asleep or not. All I know, cause I don't know how her process is right? Like you have people and I knew that it was a love domination spell. So, you know, because I could hear her saying, cause I'm clairaudient. And especially when people, there's sometimes where I'm not focused enough to hear what's in the ethers, but that when you are directing it towards me, you know, my, I'm going to be made privy of it by my spirit team, especially like, no, you need to sit down and hear this. And I heard her say, love, you're going to, um, I'm going to dominate you. You're going to be my slave. And it wasn't, and I, I shared this in another video, but I'll repeat it. The, the way she looked in the spirit realm, her body was not of a human. All I saw her head and she, you know, the Doja Cat, you know, I'd rather be famous instead. I don't know the title of the song, but you know, B, I said what I said. I'd rather be famous instead. And then that, that video, she is drenched in what is supposed to be blood. Okay. I think that's probably like, um, Carrie Ann or something like the Carrie, I think, um, you know, where she's, she's drenched in pig blood. It's an old movie from the seventies. And, um, I think they've done remakes on it too, but anyway, so, you know, here's this and so I'm seeing this and she has a slug body. It's not a snake, but it's Leviathan. It's the Jezebel. And, you know, and so she, she has this, everything is red in this environment. Everything it's, it's blood red. It's b literally blood red. And she's, she's saying, I'm going to dominate you. And it wasn't the first time. One time I was laying in my bed in, you know, and I'm just minding my own business. I think I'm just on the phone, you know, scrolling through the phone or watching something. And I literally, I felt an evil presence and I was like, oh shit, here we go again. Cause this, this person what would keep coming after me, keep coming after me. Um, I remember I paid for somebody for a night and I, and I just, and it shocked me because it's the first time that I'd had somebody clinging to me like a parasite. And she, um, I got to watch out because I'm at work and not, not because of what I'm saying, but there's been people jumping over the fences and stuff. Um, but anyway, so she, she, I, I, I pay for this and I had no, you know, I, I was shocked cause I heard no. And I'm like, Whoa, who is that? And it's this succubus. She was mad because she had, she believes that my money is her money because she targeted me. Mind you, she wanted me to move in with her to a, a tweaker, old tweaker home, right? She committed some kind of fraud and it was like, ugh, I'm, I said, I'm good. You know, I make good money. I'm doing really well. That's not my plans. My plans is for my bloodline, bloodlines to be self-sufficient and out of poverty comfort, comfort, con, uh, consciousness. But this is what she did because she was so bitter and jealous that I had and, and mad because I had rejected her. She was still from the spiritual realm. She was remote viewing and astral projecting to me. So when I was laying down on my bed, I said, I feel this big, heavy. It was literally like a python. That's literally what it was. And I remember she said, said one time, oh, well, you know, uh, I, if, some, if you see me in, the, in, the, in your dreams, I'm a black fox, I'm a black wolf and a dragon. I was like, no, you're none of those things. What she looked like was a dinosaur of some sort. You're not a regal drag. You know what I mean? That's kind of like, I remember the first nation there's a, it's called yellow or canary something. It's, it was a documentary and they're talking about how white people were, um, taking their, 
their names and trying to call themselves Rising Eagle and stuff like that instead of Bloody Guts, you know? And that's basically what I felt with her. So yes, this is very real, Phoenixes. That's why I said as a transformation coach and as a NART coach, and it's because I'm I'm talking to women, black women who have been through some things that normal coaching, normal coaches wouldn't understand. That's why I share so much of my story. So I hope this helps you guys. Um, just, I know I'm cutting it off because the video is getting ready to cut off. But remember, your blessings are in your ashes, Phoenixes. Rise.